Hey guys, and welcome back to another talk with me. We were previously focusing on personal hygiene, which is how you take care of your body, right? Your smells, your body smells. And as you guys get older, um, you produce more sweat, you start to smell more, you're gaining weight because you're becoming taller, you're becoming bigger. So the older you get, the more important it becomes for you to focus on your personal hygiene. It should always be a priority, but the older you get, it should become more and more and more and more of a priority. So we're just going to go over a few things that... Um, we're going to do comparisons between practicing good hygiene and practicing bad hygiene. Okay, so let's get started. So, washing your hair. Our hair between the oils and moisturizers and sprays we use, as well as um, our hair, we sweat a lot. Our hair, it absorbs that. Also, depending on your hair type, will tell you how much of your sweat your hair would be absorbing. And so washing your hair is very important. I mentioned previously in a video where I was talking about personal hygiene, different hair types will tell you how often to wash your hair. As people with natural afro-like textured hair, I wouldn't advise you to wash your hair three times a week or two times a week. I feel like that's a bit much as it is already. Our coily curls absorb so much nutrients that our hair is constantly dry. Okay, it's like it's begging for moisture. So the more you wash it, the more you're exposing it to being dry. You can contract dandruff from your scalp being too dry. But twice a week is not bad. I just personally wouldn't wash my hair twice a week. I would wash it once a week, make sure that it's clean, and then pump it up again and wash it once a week again. All right? Um, cleaning your teeth. Standard, I wash my teeth twice, once in the morning and once before I go to bed. There are things that stain our teeth that we can eat throughout the day. So if you're not brushing your teeth before bed, the possibilities of your teeth being more stained than it would have been if you did is a lot higher. Things like tea, coffee, some juices, cold drinks, actually stains your teeth. So they aren't pearly white. Whereas brushing your teeth is not going to make your teeth pearly white, but it is going to prevent it from having discoloration and can also prevent tooth decay. Get rid of earwax. This is so important. Now, I read up that it's actually using earbuds is actually not advised because those particles that are used to make the earbuds actually go in your ear and cause more dirt. Right, so they advise that when you're washing your body, washing your face, you should just take your flannel and put it in your ear so that it cleans it out properly. So I do use earbuds, but at the same time, I also use my wash rags. I use both, okay. And also with cleaning your teeth, flossing is very important. Super, super, super important. Yes, because things get stuck in your teeth, but so does bacteria. Remember, floss has a toothpaste-like taste. So when you're flossing, it's kind of like you're brushing in between your teeth. So you're able to kill the bacteria and dirt that is growing and brewing in between your teeth. If you're a person that's never flossed, the day you decide to floss, the smell that will come out of your mouth or on the floss, you will be so shocked, even if you're a person that brushes your teeth every day. Flossing is important. Get rid of bad breath. Bad breath can be a cause of a number of things. Not brushing your tongue properly. As much as our teeth um, accumulate dirt from things that we eat, our tongue does as well. So flossing is important, brushing your tongue is important, and using mouthwash is just the icing on the cake, okay? Um, keep your body cool. The reason we say that is because when your body is hot, your sweat glands overproduce sweat. So you sweat when you're hot. Okay, when your body heats up, you start to sweat. And keeping your body cool can prevent the sweat, can prevent the stink. Use deodorant. So we can't always, we aren't always in control of when we sweat and how we sweat. However, we are modern and we have things now that has been developed and made in order for us to stay clean and smell fresh all the time. So can you imagine 
I can't imagine myself living without roll-on because I would just smell so much worse. The roll-on is like a protective shield, so it helps prevent the smell. Most people prefer to use natural roll-ons because what can happen is, is that your underarms can start to become darker than the rest of your body when you use roll-on and you don't wash properly under there. That's also another thing. You can be a person that consistently washes and applies cream, but if you don't wash properly, all that dirt, it packs up and it becomes visible. Like if you see yourself being too toned, if it's not from sunburn, you probably haven't cleaned yourself properly, okay? Use deodorants and shower, of course. Showering every day, especially in the summer, especially if you've been doing active work and you're fully aware you've been sweating. Yes, the sweat disappears, but your skin becomes sticky. So now, on top of the sweat, you have cream also from the previous day. So it's these two things that are also building up dirt. It's not just about bacteria, building up dirt on your body. Now let's look at a um, um, bad personal hygiene. Body odor from not smelling regularly. Right? All of us have body odor. However, your body odor is more intense when you don't shower regularly. Unwashed hair. I'm telling you, unwashed hair smells, okay? Washing your hair every week is important. Like I said, for us black girls, mixed girls, our coils and our coarse hair doesn't require us to wash our hair every day, doesn't require us to wash our hair three times a week. However, you should be washing your hair at least once a week. For everybody else with straighter hair, you guys can wash your hair every day and it doesn't it doesn't change much. Um, it's, I'm also looking at the admin of washing your hair because I don't just wash my hair, I have to wash my hair, I have to blow it out to make sure that it doesn't air dry because it's going to shrink and it's going to be difficult to comb. I have to braid it out so that I can make sure that it's easier to comb in the morning. So it is a lot of admin when we do wash our hair. But once a week is great, twice a week, make sure that you're doing, if you're washing your hair twice a week, it should be because you're doing treatments. So you washed your hair the one week and the second time you washed it was because you had a treatment on your hair. That would make sense because then your hair can retain more moisture. But the more you wash it, the more moisture is getting lost from your hair. So I would say once a week, okay? Bad breath. Um, I already discussed that bad breath can come from a number of things. Not flossing your tongue. Exactly. A number of things. And also, people talk about bad breath when you wake up. If you brush your teeth before bed, you won't have bad breath when you wake up in the morning. Like, I don't suffer from morning breath because I brush my teeth before I go to bed. Remember, when you're sleeping, your mouth is consistently closed for a period of six to eight hours. And all that bacteria that has accumulated throughout the day is just brewing and growing in the warmth of your mouth. Can you imagine? That's where morning breath comes from. So if you brush your teeth before bed, it is more difficult because now the bacteria that's there wouldn't be as much as it would have been if you didn't brush your teeth from the whole day okay remember that that morning breath is the bacteria from the morning you brush your teeth the whole day you eating you opening your mouth whatever the case has been all of that just accumulating and packing and then you close your mouth um food between your teeth i spoke about flossing flossing is so important i know we see it in the movies and on TVs and they downplay it a lot, but flossing is very important because toothbrushes don't access those parts of your mouth. And remember, all of us have different teeth. Our teeth look different, they shape different, we have a different number of teeth. So it is very important for you to floss. Signs of tooth decay. So when your tooth is rotting, it's because you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You can, your teeth can rot from eating too many sweets. That is very possible. And you have what you call a sweet tooth, where you have a tooth that decays from the root. But tooth decay from not be having good personal hygiene is also possible. Wearing soiled clothes. Now, why would you want to wear clothes that you peed on or did a number two on? Doesn't make sense. Okay? So if you soiled on your clothes, you can't wear them again. They need to be washed before you wear them. Dirty and untrimmed fingernails and toes. The most bacteria is in our hands because we are constantly touching things. And when your nails are long, 
Now it leaves room for dirt to get stuck in between your nails. And you must remember, bacteria and dirt is not always visible. So if the dirt is visible, you can only imagine the amount of bacteria that would have built up for it to be. Bacteria is microscopic. So if you can physically see the amount of dirt under your nails, that means it has a massive built up. Okay, so keeping your fingernails trimmed is ideal and toenails because what are you doing? Digging a grave with your toes. Obviously, if you're like me, I have nails, my nails are always done. I wash my hands cons constantly to prevent it from catching too much bacteria because it is long, okay? And yeah, so that's about it, guys. Um, these are things just to take into heavy consideration. These are not suggestions. This is mandatory, okay? This is the standard all of us live by in the world or all of us should be living by in the world. The basics of living. And to be honest, smelling good can also prevent you feeling sad. Doing little things for yourself like clipping your toenails, washing your hair, washing your face. Exactly. So with that being said, I will see you guys again next time. Bye!